He's not the uh, the laziest person in the room, but he's not the hardest working. Uh, he's not a uh, uh, you know just a, a co an overt criminal, but he's not the most ethical person if you were to really analyze his track record. And uh, and what if you made him into a black man, right? Because I actually had an uncle uh, who reminded me of Bush, except a black version of that. And uh, so I created this character in the book called Pookie Bush. And I said, so imagine if Pookie, you know, wasn't a drug addict, but he he kind of dabbled in drugs. So he got caught with some weed, caught with a little, little whatever, right? Or uh, Pookie, you know, he wasn't he wasn't the laziest person, but he's he, you know he he kind of messed up a few times, or uh, he didn't get a good education. So I took the statistics and said, where would this young black man end up? Right? Would he end up in the White House? The answer is obviously no. He'd probably be dead or in prison, right? And my point in the book was. Uh, it, 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 I, I was reminded of this when I when I saw what you kind of dealt with was that margin of error piece where when you go into a very volatile, fragile space like American politics, where I think all of us see it. I mean, give me a yes in the chat if you all see this, where you're exactly what you're saying, you know, that if you piss off the wrong person, next thing you know, you go from being... <laughs> Yeah, an American hero to public enemy number one. Suddenly, you know, all the corrupt people are are, are labeling you as the corrupt guy. And and now this does not exonerate anybody. This, this is me saying, I, like, I don't know. You know, you and I just met. I don't I don't know exactly every little detail of what happened in the administration, but uh, I'm sure that if the same microscope was applied to almost any mayor in America, uh, you could find something to uh, to to you know, to attack or to uh, prosecute, whatever it is. Right. And and I think that what bothered me the most about your situation was uh, the way they just really came to put that hammer down on you. I mean, they were trying to destroy your life. They, no, they, they were trying, trying to, to kill you. They, they wanted me out forever. They were serious about what they were doing. Can you talk about that? How did, how did that feel? You know, it was, it was hard. It was because it wasn't just me. Um, they were calling my sons at that time. They were in like the seventh grade and the second grade. I had twins at that time, about 11 or 12, and they're 28 now. And, and uh, my little guy was in the second grade. He's 22 now. And uh, they were calling their schools and telling them, hey, uh, you have Kwame Kilpatrick's children. Your He's a horrible guy. You should get his kids out of school. They were following them to school. My twins be walking to school and the car pull up, private investigators taking pictures of them. Um, we had numerous death threats, numerous death threats. We had a, a guy one time in a white van that, that, that it was, his wife called and said, he's going crazy, said he's gonna kill me. And, and he uh, got on the phone and said, he's gonna kill me and all my N word kids. And, and uh, you know, he's traveling in a white van, the cop got the white van. Um, it was a oppressive situation. So that for fun, they'll freeze your bank accounts. They just freeze them. Stop. Mm -hmm. You can't. You go to the bank and they say, "Sorry, sir, we can't do anything." <laughs> You're like, wait, "Wait, what happened?" Right? And and that's why people think this is a money case. Ain't no money in it. It's uh. It's, so they unfreeze it. It's the harassment is horrible. This is how horrible it is. When I finally got to prison, they they walked me straight to the shoe to the to the hole. Um, I was in there five weeks for the first three days in there. I slept. I slept. I just slept. I didn't eat. I did three days. I just laid and slept because making sure my kids were all right, making sure my then wife was okay, making sure we can keep everything going. Pay, you pay this. You got to go to this. People won't hire you. They call people ahead of time when you book a speech and try to ruin you for having that. The press is always working with them.